And let me now take you across to DD India's Akshay Dongri for more on this. Uh, but hi, Akshay, how significant is this development of patrolling at uh, you know, one of the disputed points by Indian soldiers in the overall disengagement process? Well, it's uh, quite a start, Gautam. In fact, uh, when when the two leaders uh, met uh, in Kazan, uh, we are talking about the uh, the Indian Prime Minister and uh, the uh, the Chinese President. When they met in Kazan, uh, it was in fact a breakthrough moment uh, for for the relation between the two countries. Now, uh, as far as Demchok is concerned, it was a key friction point, and uh, since patrolling has started, uh, it, it signifies that the two countries have now started uh, to implement uh, uh, measures on the ground uh, to ensure that. Uh, escalation happens not only at one point but a de-escalation happens uh, at, at all the friction points uh, that are there on the borders between India and China and that uh, the relation between the two countries uh, improve. Uh, this is one point uh, that has held the, the growth of uh, the relations between India and China, the world's two largest economies, uh, the world's two fastest growing economies uh, to a standstill because of the fact that uh, there were a lot of uh, friction points as far as uh, disagreements were concerned uh, regarding patrolling uh, regarding uh, territorial uh, disputes uh, that that had uh, risen out of uh, the the in, the uh, the kind of uh, tension that we saw on in, in the in the Ladakh sector as well as other parts of uh, the borders as well. But now uh, this is a ray of hope. Uh, at, at best, we can uh, look at it at a, as a ray of hope as far as uh, the whole uh, Indo-Chinese relations are concerned when it comes to improving the ties between the two countries. And that is why uh, the starting of patrolling is in fact a, a huge uh, symbol when it uh, when it uh, you know comes to the relation between the two countries uh, so uh, yes uh, the, we are uh, still uh, uh, waiting for uh, uh, the patrolling to begin at, uh, at other friction points uh, uh, especially when we talk about uh, that song uh, but uh, uh, when we talk also about uh, the overall relation between the two countries uh, as uh, the uh, uh, Raksha Mantri or the defense minister stated we have to wait uh, there will be a timeline and that uh, uh, there are a lot more has to be done uh, to uh, to instill a sense of trust uh, between the two countries that was uh, severely damaged by what happened in Galwan. Yes, uh, Deb Sang also very, very critical uh, because of the DBG link. But actually, the defense minister has also said that this unwinding of tensions will not just stop <coughs> at disengagement, although some patience may be needed to see the follow-up steps unfold. Absolutely. Now, what kind of a tentative timeline could we be looking at for de-escalation as well as de-induction for them, with both two processes to take place? Well, uh, that's uh, a very complicated question, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, the ground situation, Gotham, because uh, uh, it has uh, started uh, when we talk about patrolling uh, or uh, the patrolling, which also will lead to disengagement. Uh, de-induction, as you have also mentioned uh, rightly. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, we are looking at uh, the uh, leadership uh, between the two countries, uh, the Indian leadership and the Chinese leadership uh, actually making efforts on the ground. Uh, you know, there were several rounds of uh, commander level talks that took place before uh, this uh, this movement could be reached. Uh, so, uh, uh, it, it took about four years of continuous talks uh, between the leadership uh, on the ground, between the military leaderships and, and now we are seeing the result in Demchok and uh, Depsang uh, uh, you know, uh, hopefully soon enough. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, friction points, not just on the ground or on the border areas, but when it comes to trade, when it comes to uh, other issues where, uh, of, of geopolitics, when it comes to uh, uh, concerns that India has had when it uh, comes to the uh, the kind of uh, activities that have been taking place in the Indian Ocean region by the Chinese Navy uh, and, and other, other points as well. So there is a list of things that have to be done uh, for the relation between the two countries to improve or uh, to come to uh, you know better uh, or friendly terms uh, but uh, this is a good start and from uh, the efforts that have been made by the Indian leadership also uh, to ensure uh, that uh, the uh, dialogue uh, continues right. uh, to go on which Indian leadership has been uh, you know telling the world uh, be it uh, the Russia-Ukraine war or uh, the uh, israel Hamas conflict that solution of any conflict can be found on only on the dialogue table and India has actually exemplified that uh, by by uh, you know continuously having discussions and dialogues with China and now uh, the result can be seen on the ground. Well, let's hope that it's uh, moved forwards uh, and smoothly and swiftly. Thanks a lot for joining uh, us for the moment, Akshay Dongri.